everybody. Welcome to the NADOC News for Thursday, July 6, 2023. Hey, get out the way. It's our turn. It's youth day. Yeah, it's our turn, man. Yeah, let the kids do it. Hey, hey, hey. I've been here 20 years. I know what I'm doing. First up, let's recap on last night's fun and games at the mini ball. Held down at the Central Augusta Football Club, there was dancing, games, a catwalk and so much fun to be had, with over 100 of our little ones getting involved. The evening was hosted by United Country SA, with support from others as well. All the kids had dinner and a fruit station, and just before they left, were given one of these amazing NADOC biscuits. The kids were styling it up with ball gowns and suits, and there were a few fairy wings about the place too even some farm animals for the kids to get around. Congratulations to the organisers and the families who got their little ones ready. I would say the future's not just looking bright, it's looking fly. Now, you all may have noticed the rain we had all last night. Our team woke up this morning a bit worried that it would dampen our Youth Day celebrations, but it didn't. Youth Day was a sea of students and teachers down at Central Oval taking part in games and activities. Dre was down at Central Oval to cover all the action. All right, here we are here at Youth Day. Absolutely amazing day. It's going to be happening. Hey, guys. It's Twyla. Ezekiel. And we're here from the Straight Up Mob today. We're here at the Youth Day at Central Oval for NADOC Week. Here, there's a great opportunity for youth to enjoy culture, do events and just have a great time in general. and what does NADOC Week mean to you? Spending time with family, friends, getting to know everyone and hanging around with the mob, you know. Um, as an Aboriginal person, how does it feel to be at, be at Youth Day and celebrating culture? Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun, you know, to hang around with these mob a lot. Um, yeah, come down here, have some fun. How do you feel about not being at school at the moment? Oh, hell yeah. It's fun. Don't need school, no. <laughs> Cut the cameras. <laughs> I'm here with Mrs. Free. Is this your first NADOC? First NADOC ever. I'm from South Africa. How's the experience been? Oh, it's excellent. I love the sense of community. It's, um, it's amazing how everybody's coming together and the, for the type of reasons that they're coming together with. So it's really amazing to experience it for my first time. Looking forward to the next one. Hey guys, I'm here with Josephine. And um, what does NADOC Week mean to you? I'm um, supporting your culture and um, celebrating it because um, you can see other people's cultures too. Today I'm here with Uncle Yura and how is it teaching languages and kids learning and enjoying it? Oh, um, uh, teaching uh, languages for the Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal children is really important because our language needs to be preserved. Here in Port Augusta is really important because in Port Augusta there's a lot of different Aboriginal groups that speak different languages and once they get to understand it, better reconciliation in the town. So today I'm here with Kyle. And how, how is it getting out of school for you today? It's really exciting, you know, you get to see different cultures, uh, learning about different stuff. 
So did you go to any other events this week? Yeah, I got to the, um, go down to Culture Day at Gladstone Square. You like any of the dances? Yeah, I like the Dusty Feet Mob dances and the Torres Strait dances. Hey, great takeover guys. Dre, you may need to watch your back. A big thanks to everyone who was involved. Shine SA, Headspace, Amuro Media, Housing SA, SAPOL, SA Road Service and all the schools that came along. Pass, Wilsdon, Augusta Park, Caritas and Seaview. And most of all, the students for being so engaged and active this week. We did have a lot of fun. So let's be real, it wouldn't be Nadoc Week without our bush tucker and we all know the team down at Pigaweer are great at providing for the community. Today there was kangaroo tail cooking in the ashes and even damper too. Our straight out mob, Zeke and Twyla, headed down to Dartmouth Street to cover this story. Hello, today I'm here with Gregory Jackson. And uh, what is this event we're at currently? We're at the Pigaweer Aboriginal Health Service of Port Augusta, South Australia. And what are we doing at this event? Today we're here to gather uh, as a part of a community event uh, to do things for the elders and uh, we're just doing a kangaroo tail cookout. What does NAIDOC mean to you? Oh, it's just a very important date to be an Aboriginal person and um, it's a recognition for the mainstream. Uh, yeah, we're cooking up kangaroo tails, uh, that's special uh, traditional food, doing it in the ground. Um, uh, it's part of uh, you know, sharing and caring and uh, cooking it, things for everybody. It's sort of a fun day for everybody, for everybody involved, you know, young and old. Hey, I'm here with Kerwin. And, um, why are we here today and uh, what is it all about and like what are we doing? Actually we're doing a kangaroo in the ashes today with a, for the damper as well too. So today we're trying to get everyone here to, at the Pikawee Health Centre, give a little bit of promotion for us as well too. So we've got most of the elders and we've got kids here as well too to do a um, little cook off as well too. So they do their own tails as well too. So it turned out alright. Oh man that looks incredible. Smile for the camera, girls. And um, what does NAIDOC Week mean to you? NAIDOC Week is actually what it means to me, how family get together and how other different groups combine together. And what is your favourite event so far? Mine so far actually is cooking a kangaroo tower because it's actually nice and toasty. For today's weather. It was a damp start to the day but the sun shone through for a top of 17 degrees. We can expect an overnight low of just 6 degrees tonight but firing up for a perfect last day of Natick week with a top tomorrow of 18 degrees. Well everybody we are getting close to the end of Natick week for 2023. Port Augusta has put it on strong and we still have one day to go. Tonight's events include the prestigious Mocha Art Award and the NAIDOC Youth Ball, which will bring you in tomorrow night's bulletin. On Friday, July 7th at 8am, there is a community breakfast in Gladstone Square, followed by the closing ceremony at 9.30am. At 10am, the march will be leaving, you guessed it, Gladstone Square. There is also the Family Fun Day at 11am at the Youth Centre. And tomorrow night, get dressed because we're going to the NAIDOC Ball. There are still some tickets left, so get yours to enjoy an amazing three-course meal and entertainment from Warren Miller Band and our very own Mozzie, the one job he hasn't been kicked out of this week. It's been a great pleasure for me to bring you the news, not just every morning on 89.1 FM, but tonight on the NAIDOC News. For me and my family, it is a special time. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your NAIDOC week and stay safe.